All right, now we're going to show you how to make a pipette column. Uh, you're going to see there's two sets of long pipettes. One has bent on the bottom, the other ones are not. You're going to push some glass wool into the pipette that is bent on the bottom using one of the ones that are still straight. Um, and then you're going to clamp it into uh, onto a clamp either on the retort stand or in the fume hood. Now, whether you add your eluding solvent or your sand first, not that big a deal, but when you add the sand, I would use a folded sheet of paper just to try and focus it in the pipette, uh, rather than a scupula, because you're just going to have a big mess. <clears throat> now, in the video here, I've got way more sand than is actually necessary. The only purpose of the sand is to keep the silica gel flat. Um, so there's definitely more than necessary here. Anyway, start pouring in some of the silica gel and you're going to see that you need to push it down in with a, uh, a pipette and not only push it in but once it gets down there uh, mix it around a little bit because you're going to see there are a lot of air bubbles that need to be released and you don't want this happening while the column is running uh, or once you've filled it up with silica so you're going to add a little bit of silica at a time then mix it around with the pipette go add some more and you're just going to keep alternating back and forth um, until you've got you're probably looking at about at least two inches of silica gel in the pipette um, but again it doesn't need to be exact all right so you have your pipette clamped and again you're mixing up the silica and uh, I'm just going to add a little bit more. Always want to make sure that the solvent level is uh, above the silica uh, when you're preparing it. Um, so you knock the silica gel down in and if you need to add a little more solvent. Um, you, uh, you still want to leave maybe about an inch at the top of the pipette column <coughs> before the uh, or when you've added all your silica there should be at least an inch left of clearance I would say. So we're going to add a little more sand, uh, top it off, and again, that's just for when you add subsequent things to the pipette column. Uh, the silica stays flat, any interference will happen to the sand, which you can just tap and level out. Now we're going to break off the bottom of the pipette tip, and grab a flask or a test tube um, to be ready to collect the solvent as it comes out. Firmly grip the pipette with both hands and snap with the lower thumb and forefinger. Um, anyway, once that gets going, um, we can lower the, the pipette column so it's not dripping from, you know, five feet away into the flask. Uh, and watch the solvent in the pipette column going down and it coming out the bottom. You'll see that as soon as the solvent reaches the sand, watch the bottom of the pipette, it comes to a stop. Um, <clears throat> as long as you're not applying pressure, this is what will happen. So don't worry about it going, quote unquote, running dry. If as soon as you add solvent again, look at the bottom of the pipette, there it goes. And <clears throat> it's going to stop again once the solvent reaches the